Hello, this is Michael Williams live on Periscope. And then today I'm going to continue with this little series that we're talking about in terms of beliefs that may be stopping you. And these could be beliefs that may be stopping you from taking a new job, from improving your speech, which is the area that I work in, uh, beliefs that may have to do with you getting out of a relationship. So these, this belief in particular is one that we can apply to a lot of different things. And what we're going to be talking about this time is this belief that I'm afraid to fail. I'm afraid to fail, right? So sometimes people don't start things because they're afraid to fail. They're afraid to fail. Have you ever not done something because you're like, oh, man, I tried that before. In fact, I've actually done this. There's some things I've tried before, and it's kind of painful when we fail, right? When, when we try something, we put everything into it. Sometimes we don't put everything in, but sometimes we do. And we try it, and then we fail. It's like, ah, oh, man, we kind of lose hope. We lose faith. It hurts. Sometimes it's embarrassing. Sometimes it's just, it's just painful when we fail at something that we really wanted to achieve, we really wanted to have it, we really wanted to do it, and it didn't work out. So then... It's like touching the hot plate or touching the stove, and you're like, okay, man, this is, this is really how I'm not going to do that anymore, right? Same thing. You are afraid to try something new that can move you ahead, but you decide not to. So what I want to do in this brief uh, little periscope is to share with you a couple of things that you can do and how you can shift your mindset to prevent this belief from holding you back. And the belief is that I'm afraid of failing, so therefore I'm not going to do it. Right? That's the belief. And sometimes you don't think that consciously. It's subconscious. It's unconscious. Like, oh, I don't think I'm going to do that. And maybe you don't even know why, but it's because maybe you've been burned in the past. You failed in the past. My specific area of expertise is working with people that struggle with, with their speech, with stuttering, fear of public speaking, those kinds of things. And sometimes they have tried other programs. Sometimes they've tried my program, and it hasn't worked out for them. Right? And so they're like, well, I'm not doing that again. Or I just spent a whole bunch of money on this or this. So they don't do it. And what they end up doing is losing opportunities, losing career opportunities, losing relationship opportunities, losing the opportunity to be happy, to be fulfilled, to answer their calling, right? to do the thing they're called to do because of this fear, this fear of failing. So what can you do about that? Well, a few of the things that you have to do is you just have to realize, number one, so you have to realize that failure is just a part of life's journey, that if you don't fail at anything, then you're not going to achieve anything, right? And obviously that's not technically accurate because we can achieve some things without failing. But anything worth achieving, anything large, any large goals, big goals, things that you have to work hard at, you're going to have some failures, believe me. And you may have a lot of them. So what I always say is fail faster, right? Fail faster, succeed sooner. Fail faster, succeed sooner. So the faster you fail, just get out there and start trying stuff. Now, I don't mean just go out and try to fail, but I mean go out and experiment, experiment, get started. Do stuff. Figure out how to do stuff. And keep correcting it. The, more, the faster you fail, the what? The sooner you're going to succeed. So you have to come to the realization that failure is a part of the success journey. It's a part of the process. So you're going to have to get over feeling terrible about it and not starting up again. You might feel terrible, okay? But if you feel terrible, just say, okay, I feel bad about this. I messed up. This is, this is really bad. Uh, but if I want to succeed, I'm going to have to go through this. I'm going to have to experience not just this time, but I'm going to have to experience this again and again if I really want to exceed, if it's worth it, right? So understand, acknowledge that failure is going to be a part of the process. What else can you do? What else can you do to help kind of remove or replace this belief? Well, the other thing that you can do is you can look at the stories of those around you, people like you who have succeeded, because this can be very encouraging, very hopeful for you. When you look at the stories of people that have succeeded and you understand that they too failed, right? They too failed, maybe for 
years. They failed at stuff for years. That can encourage you, and that can help give you the encouragement, right? The motivation that you need, the persistence and perseverance to keep pressing forward through your failures. So look at these successful experiences and stories of those around you, right? Now, here's the third thing. There, there are probably lots of things we can do, but I'm going to wrap it up with this third one. What else can you do to help replace this belief of, I'm afraid to fail, therefore I'm not going to do it? What you can also do is you can remind yourself, you can immerse yourself mentally in material and information and content that's encouraging, that gives you a different perspective, right? That's encouraging, that gives you a different perspective. I was just closing down a little reminder that popped up. So let me say that again. You can immerse yourself in material, and I'll tell you exactly what I'm talking about, that's encouraging, that also gives you a different perspective. So here's what I do. I am an audio listener, so I listen to audiobooks. I read as well, but I like listening to audiobooks. I always have. So what you can do is get yourself a library of books. Uh, you can get Kindle books or regular books. If you like listening to audio, get audio. If you like watching video, get video. Go to workshops, go to church, go to the mosque, go, where, go to the synagogue, wherever. Immerse yourself, surround yourself, flood your mind with information that's going to encourage you. See, sometimes we spend our time, and I like to watch TV too, but we spend our time watching TV or listening to music, that's depressing. Watching the news, that's depressing, right? And talking to people and complaining all the time. So, of course, no wonder we're depressed and without encouragement, and we're afraid of this and afraid of that. You've got to learn to cut that stuff down and cut a lot of it out and immerse yourself by listening to things on a regular basis that encourage you, that give you a different perspective of what you're doing, right? To say, okay, it's okay to fail, you have to do this. And by watching things, by reading, by talking, being in conversations with people that encourage you, that move you forward, that help you see it from a different light, right? From a different perspective, a different view. Because if you just stay in your own mind, you're going to get depressed, right? Because you're just thinking the thoughts that you're thinking and they're twirling around and the next thing you know, you know, you're just going down. Or if you're watching the news or listening to that and this is all depressing, you're just going to go right on down. So, you want to immerse yourself with material, with information that's going to encourage you. So what else, what else can we do? Let me just kind of wrap this up. So one of the things that you want to do is just be aware failure is part of the process. Fail faster, succeed sooner. The other thing you want to do is look for successful stories of people around you, like you, that will encourage you. And finally, you want to go ahead and you want to immerse your mind in material and information that's going to encourage you. So I hope this video has been successful. Look for more. Encourage your friends to go ahead and scope me out, right? Subscribe to this Periscope. Subscribe to my YouTube channels. Visit my website. Pro 90D, Pro 90D, and I uh, look forward to hearing from you and seeing you soon. This is Michael Williams.